So I'm not creating anything fancy on here. I'm not trying to make it pretty. I'm just making a list of functions for what this screen does. If you want to get extra fancy, you can drag in Facebook and Gmail symbols here and a submit. But for the purposes of this exercise, this is very, very good and excellent what we need. Okay, cool. Since I have a create new identity, I'm going to once again drag that symbol onto my board. And if we create a new account, I'm going to grab the type tool once again and write create new account. And we will need a name. And we will need an email. And we will need a password. And what, what else do you guys think you might want to need? Uh, for the purpose of keeping this information or presentation short, I should say, this is all I'm going to add to my create new account page. But if you guys want to add more information or feel like that would be necessary for the virtual reality app that you'll be creating, this is a good place to start. Now, say I want to move this around because I am not quite happy where this has fallen on the page. Simply click on the board anywhere next to the created box and top text and drag a marquee um, that touches both objects. Okay, which means that once you have that, you can click anywhere within those both objects and you can move it, move the screen around as necessary. So here's my create new account. Uh, and I'm going to move my login screen over a little bit here. So I have more room for my arrows. Okay, here's the login screen. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to add arrows. Uh, we can add a single directional arrow or a double or, or two headed arrow. We have I have my arrows special opened up here. There are different types of arrows. You have arrows standard and pattern arrows, and then you move into calligraphy. So in your library, you have several options. I'm kind of enjoying the special arrows because we have a two-headed arrow and a single-headed arrow that are kind of the same style. So I'm gonna grab this two-headed arrow, and I'm going to grab the line tool, and I'm just going to draw a line between these two guys and grab the two-headed arrow, okay? Because you can always create a new account and go back to the login screen. Um, ooh. And I'm going to add a save option for my create new account. Whereas I want to show a single directional arrow, I might, oops, I might grab the draw line tool and connect the login screen with the um, load screen and just create a single arrow, okay? So to review, creating an arrow, grab the line tool, you draw a line in the direction of your next box and you click on the style of arrow that you would like to use. Try to keep consistent, okay? So once we have a login screen, we can move on to the main page. Oh no, notice that my background is too small for what we're doing. Brings me to the next option. If you go down to the toolbox, there's what looks like a teeny tiny piece of paper with a ragged corner and two lines next to it. This is the artboard tool. When you click on the artboard tool, you'll notice that toggle boxes show up on the side. And you can expand your background as much as you need. Once you are done, simply click on the selection tool at the top, and it brings you to where we were working before. Okay, cool. Got my arrows, they're available. I've got my symbols, they're also available. So I'll grab my gray rectangle again and drag it in here. This time I'm going to create the main page. Now the main page is going to be a little bit more complicated. I'm going to add text to it. I'm going to call it the home page. Um, the home page is going to have a menu on the side. So 
So I can list it main menu. And then the recipe of the day page. Where I'm going to actually display this recipe with the title. Species. Ingredients. Instructions. And I want to add an image between all of these things or around all of these things. So I'll just hit return twice. And if you find this problem where your box is too small, it's not an issue. You just click on the selection tool and then find the toggle and make your box bigger. Okay. Now, usually in these scenarios, images are indicated by drawing a just simple rectangle. And there it is, there's an image for our recipe. We're not doing the layout, remember, we're just listing functions. Home page, main menu. Now the main menu usually is indicated with the three parallel lines in the upper right hand corner. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now to make my lines super straight, I'm just going to use uh, uh, the line tool and hold down the shift key. And once I have one line drawn, so I clicked on the line tool, um, my line was not showing up because you couldn't see it. So I went to the stroke menu box and I made the stroke bigger. And by default, the color turned black. And once I have one line, I can click on it and copy it by right clicking and selecting copy. Uh, you can also right click, uh, hit control C on the PC or Command C on a Mac. Okay. So edit menu allows you to copy. Oops, I don't have anything selected. Wait, there we go. Edit menu, copy, edit menu, paste. Once again, edit menu, paste. And we have three lines stacked on top of each other. Now, I'm going to select all three lines by holding down the shift key. This keyboard shortcut is actually the same for both PCs and Macs. All three lines, I held down the shift key and clicked on each individual line. Now, to make them align, you'll notice that if you have three objects selected, you get the shortcuts to the align menu at the top right here, and I just hit the align down the center, and I've got three beautiful lines that tell me we have a menu. Okay, now, next step. The menu I'm going to put into a slightly different layout, the little gray rectangle that we've created for the first try, uh, just to show that this is going to be the menu page. Another really good idea is if you already have the selected um, symbol for the menu, moving it into your symbols palette and creating a menu clip is a great idea because then you can just drag it onto all the different pages. Okay, so in my menu box, I'm once again going to grab the type tool and I'm going to list the menu items that are available. So home, uh, new recipe, probably some account settings, find a recipe, and recipe by species. Okay, so just list pages. I find that this app gets more and more interesting every single time I use it. And because this is going to be open and closed between these two pages, I'm going to draw a line and then give it the styling of a two-headed arrow between my home page and the menu page. Okay, cool beans. Now, from the home page, you can go to several places. Okay, uh, one of them is the create new recipe page, which means I have to just drag the new recipe page here. and list its options. 
for the purposes of speed and love, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to just repeat working until I am done. The rest of this video is going to be on fast forward until we get to the final product. You um, will thank me for that because otherwise it's going to be several hours of recording and me talking, which is not fun. Okay, so see you at the end. Here's the finished product. You can see that I've added several more screens, uh, a couple more arrows, so you can see what's going on. I'm going to add one more arrow because it is possible to go between the recipe list and the recipe page, um, as well as the recipe lists to the finished recipes. That's kind of important. Okay, um, we can also go from these lists to create a new recipe, but that's through the menu, so we can skip that step. Okay, I have it set up. It's ready to go with one small caveat, it's got to be saved. Now, for your project, you can use any colors that you want. You can choose different fancy arrows. As long as it's legible and as long as you can present it, that is fine with me. When you are finished creating this design, um, in Illustrator, what you need to do is save it as a PDF. So you go to File, Save As, and in the dialog box in the drop down menu here, use Change to PDF instead of AI. Um, also, make sure that you're saving it somewhere you can remember so you don't, you know, mess up. Um, I'm using a user, user interface design um, folder for this exercise and give your file a name that describes it well. So this is a flowchart and save the PDF. There's, there's one more thing that I highly recommend you guys do before you send this out and that is go to the edit drop down menu, find the spell check option, which is right here, control I, and run a spell check on the document because, you know, so I'll just go through this, uh, do spell check on the whole thing, and um, finish it up by saving it as a PDF again. And once you save it as a PDF, it stays a PDF in Illustrator. Okay? So that's how do you make a chart, flowchart in Illustrator. Once again, hundreds of colors, hundreds of designs. This is kind of a very, very condensed version of how to do it. If you know how to use Illustrator, the steps that I've shown you can be the beginning of some amazing work. Thanks, and see you next time.